Welcome back everybody. If you haven't seen this face before, my name is Olivia and I review perfumes, fragrances, that sort of thing. So if you like that kind of content, make sure you do, do the thing. You know what to do. Like, follow, whatever. Subscribe. So today we are going to be talking about this set that I found at Marshalls for $15 and it's called Le Jet Set by Le Monde Gourmand. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of unclear as to what their brand name is, if it's Le Monde Gourmand or if it's Le Monde or Le Gourmand, because I, I, I'm not sure what their TikTok is. I found them on TikTok because I recognized one of the fragrances, um, Le de Coco, which is coconut milk. I have seen this one before and I had never smelled it. So apparently they used to sell these sets and these as full-size bottles at Urban Outfitters? Urban Outfitters. And I was never really one for shopping Urban Outfitters because to be honest, their clothes are way overpriced for what they are. Like there is some cool stuff there, but like honestly, I would never pay full price for the stuff there. Like hard pass, hard pass. But like I said, I found this for $15 at Marshall's and so like I couldn't stop myself. Of course I bought it and I thought we should talk about the scents just in case if you come across this set or the big size bottles, which ones are worth getting. So let's get into it. So for the first fragrance, we have Macaron Rose. So to me, this is, it smells like rose water and it smells like if you were to take rose water and add sugar to it, but I get no sort of macaron at all. Like there's no like baked good type quality. And this is gonna sound really weird, but has anyone else heard of one of Ariana Grande's perfumes smelling a little pickled? Well, upon first sniff of this, I was like, there's, it's, it's a true rose, like a rose water, but there was this pickly undertone and I had other people smell it and they were like, I don't smell pickle. So I guess there's just a certain amount of the population that some fragrances smell a little bit pickly. But to me, I, I don't think that I would pick up a full bottle of this one. Um, it just doesn't, it's nice. It's light, it's rosy. Um, it's, it's just like a perfume version of rose water that's a little bit sweet. So not a whole lot going on there. So the next one I have is called Miel Bebe, which if you, I, I, I don't know if it's the same in French, but I know in Spanish, Miel is honey. So I, I don't know if you would pronounce it the same, but I'm assuming that it's honey baby. <laughs> so. It's interesting because I thought that this was going to be along the lines of Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, Scandal, which is a really hardcore, honey, sweet, syrupy fragrance. But when I smelled this one, I was like, what does this smell like? This like, this smells like something. And then it hit me. This smells like a toned down, more unisex version of Gucci Bloom. So this one was a surprise. I actually ended up liking this one out of the entire group a lot. I think um, Gucci Bloom is too floral for me. It gives me a headache. It's like very um, tuberose jasmine gardenia heavy. And I, I think this might have gardenia or jasmine. I'm not, I'm not certain which, but yeah, it's a more unisex version. Very interesting. And the performance of this one is good. So I feel like this is one that if you like a little bit more unisex florals, which are kind of hard to pull off, those are hard to find, right? Because I feel like a lot of floral fragrances are just marketed towards women, which I'm like, let's dig deeper into that a little bit. Floral, flower, reminiscent of body part. Isn't it weird? No, is it just me? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting too far into it. People are like, you're losing me now, Olivia. Come on. But yeah, unisex version of Gucci Bloom, less intense floral. So if that one gives you a headache, try 
Miel Bebe, also known as Honey Baby. <laughs> the next one is called Citron Glaze or Glace. I'm not sure. Glace. <laughs> Citron Glace. <laughs> well, well, maybe. God, guys, I really need to learn French. I, <laughs> I'm an embarrassment. So right off the top, you get hit with citron. You get a really strong citrus hit. And as this dries down, it has a little bit of woodiness. So to me, this smells like Diet Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. So if you're a fan of that and you want something just nice and light, citrusy, easygoing, maybe you get headaches easily, maybe you're not really into fragrance and you just want something that gives a nice clean type smell. This one is really nice. But I did get one comment. I made a video about this set on my TikTok. And if you guys aren't following me, I'm now on Instagram and on TikTok. And I'm able to like interact with people a little bit more over there. So if you guys like want to chit chat, the best place to find me is on Instagram. But I had a commenter that told me that two of these vials broke in their bag. So that's just a word to the wise. Maybe these are not, uh, they're glass, so be careful. Um, and just, you know, goes to say with like any glass thing that you're gonna have in your bag, make sure you're not tossing your bag down. I tend to be very dainty with stuff. Like I don't, I haven't really broken much things. I've never broken a, an acrylic fingernail. So I, I think I'm just really light. Handed. Maybe because I, when I was younger, I played piano, so I've got the I got the dainty hands. <laughs> I don't. I have, I have big hands, but um, yeah. So this one really nice, light, refreshing, and kind of smells like light blue by Dolce & Gabbana. The next one is called Te Matcha. Oh, so this one smells so good. Now this one, I was surprised. But in the opening, this is like a photorealistic lemon peel. If you've ever cut a lemon and on the skin, you get that little burst and like mist that kind of just like off of the skin itself. Or if you've ever used a lemon to get the zest off of the skin, that's what this opening smells like. I'm talking photorealistic skin of a lemon. And it's interesting, this one's almost more citrusy than the last one. I don't, I, listen, I don't make the rules, I just tell you about it. But super, super bright, happy. If you like citrusy fragrance, you would love the last two. Although, if you were looking for a tea fragrance, it's very, very, very faint. But what this kind of reminds me of is a more citrusy version and a less synthetic version of green tea by Elizabeth Arden. Is it Elizabeth Arden? I can't remember. I don't want to look, but um, there's that one very popular, uh, I think it's Elizabeth Arden fragrance called green tea. It's been around forever, but that one nauseates me. It gives me a headache. I think I watched Demi Rowling um, recommend it as a cheapie and I was just like, mm, ma'am, that was early on. And I blind bought it and that was per her recommendation. And I don't blame her by any means because obviously at the end of the day, we're like in charge of our own wallets. But I was like, that one smelled so synthetic to me. It nauseated me. But this one, she's good. She real good. The next one is Cell Ocean. And this one is like salty seawater meets honeysuckle. It's very calm. It's not sweet whatsoever. So it's, it's very aromatic. If you are an aquatic fragrance lover, if you like something light, airy, it almost smells like the breeze that you get like misted when you're on a boat and it's splashing in the water and you get that nice little breeze that kind of like hits your nose and you can almost smell like some vegetation and flowers off of the beach and you smell that salty water just kind of like hitting your body and lightly cooling you down on a hot day. That is what this smells like. 
and this has to be one of my favorite of the entire, entire thing. The next one is called Fruit du Dragon. I'm not even gonna try it to say it with an accent, but this one is super sweet, juicy dragon fruit. This is so fun, it is so fresh, and it is sweet. So if you are kind of into the Bath and Body Works, fruity, fresh, summertime, juicy fragrances, they're a little bit young, they're really fun and like mass appealing. If you love sweet, this is absolutely the sweetest out of all of them. And personally, I'm not a sweet person, but I actually really enjoyed this, like way more than I thought. And last but not least is the one that I had seen out and about on videos is Le de Coco, which is coconut milk. And that's exactly what it smells like. To me, it smells like the broth from, um, it might be Thai or Vietnamese soup. Do you guys, oh, it's Thai. It's Thai soup. It's like Tom, Tom Ka, I think. <laughs> but that broth, without the spiciness, that really, really creamy, super creamy. Like, it's not only the water of the coconut, it's the meat, it's the fatty, it's all of that blended together, so photorealistic and put into a fragrance. So if you're looking for like a fat coconut fragrance, <laughs> this is the one. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed my little review of these fragrances. I think these are so fun and I would totally get a big bottle of Cell Ocean, of Le de Coco, and probably surprisingly enough, the Dragon Fruit fragrance, just because it's, it's kind of like a body splash, but made perfumey, which is super fun. Good for summer. Okay, my friends, that's it for me. Once again, if you haven't already, make sure that you follow me on Instagram so we can chat, follow me on TikTok, and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.